Hey there, welcome to DIY Projects with Pete. Today, we're going to build a beer caddy. This is a fun and simple project that's going to be a hit at your next barbecue up in the man cave or when you're cheering on your favorite sports team like the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Go Big Red. Let's take a look at some of the tools and supplies you'll need for today's project. For tools you're going to want to pick up or borrow, a nailer or a hammer, a saw of some sort, safety equipment, pencil, tape measure, and then for supplies, you're going to want some one inch nails, steel pipe and ends, a bottle opener, wood glue, and your stock of half inch and quarter inch wood. The first step is to cut the base and two main end boards down to size. I used half inch poplar from Home Depot for these pieces and all the measurements can be found in the free plans. I ripped each of the boards down to six inches in width on the table saw. Once the boards were cut, I measured it and marked for the angled cuts on the two end pieces. Measure five and a half inches up to determine where the angle will start, and then measure in two and a quarter inches on the top sides to determine the top point for the angle. Then I measured one and a half inches down from the top to determine where the handle would go, and lastly connected the lower and upper marks we had made with a line using a straight edge. Then use a glue bottle or something round to give the top point a rounded edge. Cut the angles for the end boards along the lines you marked. This turns out to be an 18 degree angle. Use a jigsaw or a scroll saw to round the tops of the two end boards. Once the rounded tops are made, use a sander to even out the round edges or any unevenness of the cut. I used a 7 8 inch spade bit to make a hole through each end board for the galvanized steel pipe handle. Go about halfway through the wood from each side to help prevent tear out. Next, cut the quarter inch thick upper and lower side strips for the caddy. Before assembling everything, I used an orbital sander with 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out all the boards. Now on to the assembly. We'll be attaching the pieces with a combination of wood glue and nails. I used Gorilla wood glue and then my Ryobi Airstrike battery powered nailer, which is one of my favorite tools in the shop. Remember, you can use a hammer or nails if you don't have an air nailer. Use about three nails to attach each end piece to the base of your caddy. Wipe away excess glue using a damp rag or shop towel, and then attach the lower and upper side strips on each side with glue and a couple of nails. Take your time lining up each of the strips to ensure your caddy is square. Line up the lower strip with the bottom of the base and the upper strip flush with the start of where the angled cut is. This will create about a quarter inch gap or space between the upper and the lower strip. Next, we'll make the dividers for inside the caddy. Cut a center divider and then two shorter dividers that will run perpendicular to it. Cut grooves with measurements according to the downloadable plans to attach the dividers and hold them in place. Try to be precise so they have somewhat of a tight fit. You can use a little glue to hold them in place if you like. I simply connected them like a puzzle and did not use any glue. They stay in place just fine and I can easily remove the dividers if I want to carry something besides drinks in the caddy. Once the caddy is assembled, you can apply a finish to the wood. I used the color Special Walnut from Minwax. I did one coat of stain and then used a spray polyurethane to quickly and easily seal the wood. Put the 10 inch long by half inch galvanized steel pipe through the holes and then thread the two end caps into place. Pre-drill and then attach a bottle opener to one end as well as any other accessories or customizations you'd like to add. I then measured and taped off an area on each lower side strip for a mini chalkboard. Use a foam brush or a roller to apply the chalkboard paint. I'd recommend three thin coats of the chalkboard paint and remove the tape once the paint has dried. The paint bled just a little on my project, so I used a razor blade to remove those areas. Let the chalk dry a bit and then put your new caddy to good use or gift it to a friend. Thanks so much for tuning in to DIY Projects with Pete. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and that it inspires you to build your own beer caddy. For the complete tutorial, head over to DIYPete.com slash beer caddy and give us a thumbs up and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and cheers from Montana. Please check out some of the other DIY videos on the channel. Click on the left thumbnail to learn how to build a patio ice chest and on the right thumbnail to see how to build a cornhole board set. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.